So in the previous video, we talked about how to do a bump and a limit switch. In this video, we're going to talk about how to uh, program a potentiometer. So again, we have that same start motor, stop motor program here. So I'm going to come up and go into my natural language until potentiometer is greater than and until potentiometer is less than. So again, our uh, center port that we programmed on this was our potent one is what I called it. Again, if you call it something else, you need to put in what you called it with exact spelling. Now the position. Now the potentiometer is an analog uh, sensor that reads from zero to 20 or 4,095. So if I do something like this, 2050. So the motor is not going to start until I turn that pen potentiometer and that sensor reads greater than 2050. Once that happens, it's going to start the motor. The potentiometer is less than, you could also say 2050, but the problem is the potentiometer is an analog sensor um, that can be a little touchy and doesn't give an exact reading like a digital one. So what I like to do is I like to have a little separation between my values, which means that the sensor won't accidentally trip one way and the other way. Uh, you do run the risk of getting caught in between these numbers, but a value this small generally doesn't uh, matter. So if I turn my potentiometer and it's greater than 2050, I'm gonna start my motor one. If I turn it the other way and my value reads less than 2020, uh, it's going to then stop the motor and my program is complete. And this is how you set up a potentiometer.